Baller alert, artist spotlight, Rari talk. I go by the name of Ferrari Simmons. Please look at your camera, say your name, introduce yourself, sir. Hey, man, it's the Bit Believer Money Move, man. What's up? Money Move, what's up, man? I wore my jewelry today because you was going to be here, dog. Hey, I only wore, right. Wore, we ain't here hitting, man. For you. How yes, you doing, sir? sir? Great, great. What's bro. up, man? Man, staying I don't it, think bro. I've uh, interviewed you, uh, just me or just me and you. Nope. This what, time. What, what, uh, now, now I get the, you know, do a little deep dive real quick. And, you know, we're not on the radio, so we can talk a little shit. You know what I'm saying? You can say whatever you feel, however you, you know what I'm saying? Now, who is Money Moo? Where is Money Moo from? Money Moo, we from Stone Mount, Georgia. You feel me? I live all through the east side, though, from mm. all the way from Conyers all the way to East Atlanta. You feel mm. me? In between. Like okay. Thonia, all that. Now, Tatum. where did your, your name Moo come from? Um, Moo came from, like, really Moolah. Like the money, moolah. you feel me? But ah. but it was just money moolah. I had a couple names for real, for real. Like come on, let's as go I was through. coming up, we got time. Me? The first one uh, was Shy G. You feel me? Way just Shy G. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. But the money moolah. Like, when I had no, don't money, don't start. Moolah. What was the next one? What was <laughs> the the other one. What it was? It was uh, Fly. That shit was weak as hell. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. But um, and then you went to Moo. Yeah, and it was like... Is it Money Moo? Because I see Still Paid Moo. I see Money Moo. I just see Moo. Which one is it? Um, It's Money Moo, but, you know, if you know me, everybody call me Moo. But okay. it's Money Moo, though. You know what I'm saying? And what's Still Paid? Because I know that... I see a lot of other Still Paid. SP. I see that everywhere. Man, that's the family. That's the label. You know what I'm saying? It's your label? Yep. Okay. And, and, but even before that, we a family. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, Still Paid. We got artists, producers... <laughs> And of course, folks who ain't even got nothing to do with rap too, though. But like Mondo, he still paid. What type uh, of Mondo? Rumble Band Red. That's my brother who he produced a single that I dropped today doing okay. it. He okay. still paid. Um, my dog, King of the Court. He make a lot of my stuff. He make that skit so I got with Money Man and mm -hmm, stuff like mm -hmm. that. He still paid. Like we a whole in house man. Put us in the studio. We coming out with that shit. You feel me? Okay. Now, uh, you weren't always just still paid. I I, I know you from um. We got we got a lot of history for the listeners and the viewers on the, on the YouTube page. We were about to hit twenty thousand subscribers. Actually, probably by the time this come out, we at twenty, big twenty k. Oh. Um, for the people who are just dis, you know seeing you for the first time on my platform, um, I've known Money Move for a very long time, um, and he actually has a dope history of a record um, hitting that went crazy, but then got picked up. Mm -hmm. um, amplified even more. I think they added Money uh, Money Bag Yo and Fujiano for sure. Um, and then it just went higher. Free Foo. Uh, free Foo. Uh, one time Yo. Uh, but then you went to a label. You partnered. You partnered with the label, right? You weren't signed mm -hmm. to Authentic yeah, like, Empire. Yeah, I did like a. I did a two year deal with AE. Okay, so, so was it a partnership or were you signed a song um, like legit signed to him? I will say like. It's kind of, it was a partnership, but at the same time, I guess you could say it was signed too because, okay. yeah. So uh, you dropped Hitting, and then um, you had some some heavy records after that. You had a record with Dirt. What was the name of that? Eat. Uh, what was the next, what was another record? Um, We had that Eat. We had uh, Problem with Pooh Shiesty. Pooh Shiesty. You feel me? Yeah. All that was through the, um, when I was with Eat. Okay. And then that expired, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. And now we just still pay. And are we looking for future partnerships or are we still just going to ride out the independent route? Um, I'm open to it, you know what I'm saying? And I do distribution through uh, Venice now. One time Venice, for Venice, one time for Red. Yeah, what salute up, Red? Red Push, Troy Carter. Yeah. Um, But I'm open to it if okay. it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, It got to make sense. Mm -hmm. Got to. Okay, now for artists like yourself that has been through um, – Let's say, how can I articulate this correctly? That has been through, um, I would say, the circuit um, of being signed, um, having some big features, because you have some, those are strong features. I just said Lil Dirk, Money Bag Yo, Pooh Shiesty. This is all in a very good amount of time. Um, how does that make you feel now as an independent artist? Um, do you feel like you have something to prove? Um, of course, you know what I'm saying? Because I still just like 
I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's kind of put a chip on your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, do people, I got a chip? Know, yeah, I do. You know, know what people I'm would just be like, all right, well, I want to hear more collaborations. Do people like want to hear more collaborations or more so do they, what, what, are your, what do your fans want from you? I really honestly think my fans want me more to like open up a little bit more. Okay. Like, I ain't really. Are we gonna really, open up a little bit more? For sure. Okay. For sure. Like, I'm definitely opening up more. I'm talking more. I'm a um. And I just saw, I saw you on connect live, and I was like, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't used to seeing Moo on live. Yeah, I mean, bro, I ain't never really was a talkative person, bro. Okay. But you know, with this game and mm-hmm. you know with this rap, it's kind of that's just the name of the game now. Type you gotta. They want to know more. They want to feel like they know you a little bit more. So it's like. I'm growing, but I'm learning, but I'm definitely opening up more and getting more comfortable with just, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. let folks know who I am. I came up on some like, man, you get your money hustle, stay out the way. Stay you know what I'm way. saying? But now it's like, but now you put have it in their face. Now you have to uh, have a connection a little bit more online outside of the music. So I do like that you're doing that now. Um, sure. Do we have a project coming out or are we just going to drop singles? Um, I'm going to drop. I definitely got the project Believe too. It's coming in June. Okay. Um, it's gonna be an A and B side, so it's coming in June. Then the B side gonna come the next month. Can we expect some features on there? Um, yeah, you could expect. Uh, definitely my dog Derez, Deshaun. Um, y'all make good music together. Y'all should definitely Derez and Moo should do a project together. Carry on, man, for sure. We got a but we got one that's gonna be on there. It's hard, okay. but for sure. But um, and a couple more, but but I kind of focused more on this like. With my sound and like even with my producers, how I was telling you, it's still paid. We really been working on it, creating this unique sound. I feel like, and most of this project gonna consist mostly of me. Like, okay, I want them to hear my stuff. You feel mm-hmm. me? Do so. you um, do you find it that um, it's difficult to maintain industry relationships? Like, for example, you know, you did a song with Dirk, or you did a song with Money Bag, or one time for Fujiano. Sure. Um, and damn, Pooh Shiesty locked up too. Damn, free, yep, uh, yep, free, free Pooh. Yeah, free but Shice. you know how how is it for you? Like when you do songs with these guys, you know, do you have to stay in touch with them? Do you, like you know, is it an industry relationship? Yeah. What is what I is mean, that like for you? With certain people, it is, and with some, it's not. With me, for real, for real, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not the best with keeping mm-hmm. up relationships. Yeah, I'm okay. not the best. You feel me? Red be on my ass all the time. Like, and it ain't nothing personal. It's just like. Yeah, you like to stay out the way. I, I kind of peep that. You feel me? I've like, for a while. And then this rap shit be just kind of different, bro. It's a business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I seen somebody say, uh, I think it was Bit 30. He was like, man, shit like co-workers. Like, you know, you got co-workers. Y'all cool at the work and whoop the whoop. Y'all not really see each other when y'all go home. But at work is what's up. And when you go home, everybody got their own family and folks it's good, It looks go like to. it's good business decisions being made. For sure. Okay. For sure. And some people, I'm like, like my dog, the Red, the that's my brother. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Stuff like that. But, I always got good vibes from the Red, too. Yeah, he a real one. But. Okay. Now, uh, look at your camera, say your name, and then give these folks some motivation, sir. Hey, man, money move. If you don't do nothing else... You got to believe, man. You got to believe in something. Believe in yourself, man. Always remember to do that, man. Go hard about it. Mm. Straight. Rory Talk. Uh, Rory Talk. 